Lesson 7.8, Subtract by Renaming Mixed Numbers as Fractions Greater Than 1. We can rename a mixed number to help us subtract. When the fraction in the subtrahend is greater than the fraction in the minuen, we can rename the mixed number minuen as a lesser whole number and a fraction greater than 1. If 4 and 1 third is our minuen, we can rename it as a 3 plus a 3 thirds, because we have a 3 denominator, we write 3 thirds for that 1. Together, this is the 4, and here's our 1 third. We add the numerators, 3 plus 1 is 4. That gives us 3 and 4 thirds. So remember in a subtraction problem, the first number is the minuen. The one we're taking away is the subtrahend. We have 4 and 1 third minus 2 and 2 thirds. This numerator is a 1, this one's a 2. We can't do 1 minus 2 without renaming this mixed number. The 4 is equal to a 3 plus a 3 thirds. Here's our 1 third fraction. We can rename it as 3 and 4 thirds. Now we can take away the 2 and 2 thirds. The numerators, 4 minus 2 is 2. We have like denominators, so we have 2 thirds. We do 3 minus 2 is 1. We have 1 and 2 thirds. So remember, the like denominator in this problem is a 3, so 3 thirds is equal to 1 whole. We rename the minuend as a lesser whole number and a fraction greater than 1. We can also subtract by renaming both mixed numbers as fractions greater than 1, then subtracting. We learned how to write these and rename these in video 7.6. So we have 4 and 1 third minus 2 and 2 thirds. We're going to rename both of these mixed numbers, the minuen and the subtrahend, as fractions greater than 1. We multiply the whole number 4 times the denominator 3 and add the numerator. We do 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13. We put it over that same denominator, we have 13 thirds. We do the same thing for the subtrahend. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 is 8. We put it over the denominator, we have 8 thirds. Now we can subtract 13 thirds minus 8 thirds and get 5 thirds. And 5 thirds is equal to 3 thirds plus 2 thirds. That means it's equal to 1 and 2 thirds. We write the difference as a mixed number. We don't leave it like this. And this method works best when working with lesser numbers like these, so we can multiply quickly and use mental math. Mm, 19 times 12 plus 7 cannot be done that quickly, so it would be better to just make that an 18 and change it into a lesser whole number with a fraction greater than 1 than doing it this way. We can use renaming to subtract a mixed number from a whole number. So here we have this mixed number, and we need to take it away from this whole number. There's no fraction here. But if we rename this 4 as a 3 and 4 fourths, we can subtract 1 and 1 fourth. Same numerator and denominator, so it's equal to a 1. We have a 3 and 4 fourths. We look at the numerators. 4 minus 1 is 3. We have like denominators, so we have 3 fourths. We do 3 minus 1 is 2. That gives us 2 and 3 fourths. On Saturday, Emma, Tala, and Su Jin played outside. Emma played outside for 2 hours. Tala played outside for 3 and 1 third hours. Su Jin played outside for 2 and 2 thirds hours. How much longer did Tala play outside than Su Jin. So, we think we need to un ignore the unimportant information. Looking at the question, it's asking us how much longer did Tala play outside than Su Jin. It's not asking about Emma at all. So, the fact that Emma played outside for two hours is unimportant. We can ignore that information, but we need to identify the important information. It's asking us to compare how long Tala played outside to how long Su Jin played outside, and how much longer is a clue to subtract to compare. 
Tala was three and one third hours, and Su Jin was two and two thirds hours. We need to subtract three and one third minus two and two thirds. We look at the numerators, and the one is too small to take away a two. So we rename the three and one third as a lesser whole number with a fraction greater than one. We have two plus three thirds because we have a three denominator. We use three thirds. Here's our three and here's our one third. That's going to give us a two for our whole number and three plus one is four. That gives us four thirds for the fraction part. Now we can subtract two and two thirds. Four minus two is two and we have a like denominator of three. We have two thirds. And two minus two is equal to zero, so we only write the fraction part of the difference. We don't put a zero here. Be careful when subtracting in sentence form. When our equation is written like this, that's sentence form. We need to subtract the second numerator from the first numerator. In order to do this, because one is not great enough to take three away, we would rename the six as a lesser whole number, a five, and the fraction part as a fraction greater than one. We would have five and eight sevenths minus one and three sevenths. Eight minus three is five, so we have five sevenths. And five minus one is four, we would have four and five sevenths for the correct answer. And this person made the mistake of doing three minus one going the wrong direction. And they got a two, and they did six minus one is five, they got a five and two sevenths, and that is wrong. So be very careful when you're doing this, make sure you're taking away the correct number. And stacking them like this helps us. We can easily see that we need to rewrite this so that we can take this three away from the numerator. We can model with fraction strips what's happening when we subtract. Renaming a mixed number to subtract, we have three and one third minus two thirds. We have three whole and one third, and we need to take away two thirds. But we only have a little one third part here. If we rename the three and one thirds as two whole with four thirds, see here's our three thirds, we can take away two thirds easily it will equal two and two thirds. Here we have two and two fifths minus four fifths. We can't do two minus four, so we need to rename this two. Looking at a number line, we're going from zero to three so that we can see where two and two fifths is. Here's two, two and one fifth, two and two fifths. We need to take away four fifths, that's four one fifth parts, one, two, three, four, and we land at one and three fifth. Two and two fifths is equal to a one plus a five fifths because this five is the denominator. Here's our two. Here's our fraction two fifths. We can rewrite it as a one and seven fifths. Now we can take away four fifths. Seven minus four is equal to three. We have one and three fifths. Comparing them with bar models, here we have one, two, and two fifths, which is the same thing as 12 fifths. We have five, 10, 11, 12 fifths. We need to compare it to four fifths, and we can see this red bracket is the difference between them. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fifths. And eight fifths is equal to a five fifths as one whole, plus a three-fifths, so we can rewrite eight-fifths as a mixed number one and three-fifths. We know we've got the right answer. Miss Kim mixed five and one-fourths cups of plain cookie dough with two cups of chocolate chips. She used four and three-fourths cups of the chocolate chip dough mix to bake cookies. How much dough does she have left unbaked? So we think we need to combine the plain dough with the chocolate chips. Five and one-fourth plus a two gives us seven and one-fourth. 
Now we need to take the 7 and 1 fourth and subtract the amount she used to bake cookies. We can't have a 1 and take a 3 away, so we can rename this 7 as a 6 plus a 4 fourths. Then we have our 1 fourth. That's going to give us 6 and 5 fourths. Now we can subtract 4 and 3 fourths. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. We have 2 fourths and 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. We have 2 and 2 fourths. We need to write it in simplest form by finding the greatest common factor for the numerator and denominator 2 and 4 and we divide by that greatest common factor we get 2 and 1 half cups left. And it's very confusing for you about putting it in simplest form. Video 6.3 is linked in the description so you can learn how to do that. Mr. Lee is 5 and 10 twelfths feet tall. Mr. Kim is 6 feet tall. Miss Cho is 5 and 4 twelfths feet tall. Mr. Kim is how much taller in feet than Miss Cho? Mr. Kim is how much taller in feet than Mr. Lee? So think, there are two questions. We're going to have two answers. For the first question, we need to compare Mr. Kim and his height to Miss Cho's height. Mr. Kim is 6 feet tall. Miss Cho is 5 and 4 twelfths feet tall. We can rewrite this 6 as a 5 and 12 twelfths. Now we can subtract 5 and 4 twelfths. 12 minus 4 is 8. We put it over the like denominator 12. We have 8 twelfths. We need to put it into simplest form. We divide both the numerator and denominator, the 8 and the 12, by the greatest common factor, which in this case is a 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 12 divided by 4 is 3. We know Mr. Kim is 2 thirds foot taller than Miss Cho. Now we need to do the second part. We need to compare Mr. Kim to Mr. Lee. Again, we change this 6 into a 5 and 12 twelfths to be able to subtract 5 and 10 twelfths. 12 minus 10 for the numerators is a 2. It's over our like denominator 12. We have 2 twelfths. We need to put this in simplest form. We divide both the numerator and denominator by the greatest common factor for 2 and 12, which is a 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 12 divided by 2 is a 6. We know that Mr. Kim is 1 6 foot taller than Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee is 5 and 10 twelfths feet tall. Mr. Kim is 6 feet tall. And Miss Cho is 5 and 4 twelfths feet tall. Put them in order from shortest to tallest. When we look at their whole numbers. We have a 5 and a 5. And Mr. Kim is 6. So we know Mr. Kim is the tallest. Because we're putting it in order from shortest to tallest, we know he's going to be the one on the right side. And looking at Mr. Lee and Miss Cho, they both have the same whole number, so we look at the numerators and denominators of the fraction. They have the same denominator, so the greater numerator is the greater fraction. We know Miss Cho is only 5 and 4 twelfths. She's the shortest. That puts her on the left and Mr. Lee in the middle. Now we have them in order from shortest to tallest. When we're subtracting with mixed numbers, we can choose to rename just the minuend or rename both mixed numbers. Renaming the minuend, we change this minuend 5 and 2 fifths into a 4 and 5 fifths and a 2 fifths to become a 4 and 7 fifths. Now we can take away 1 and 4 fifths and we get 3 and 3 fifths. We can do the same problem by renaming both the minuend and subtrahend. We multiply the whole number to the denominator and add the numerator. We do 5 times 5 plus 2. 5 times 5 plus 2. We get 27 fifths. We put it over the same denominator. We do it for this one, for the subtrahend. 1 times 5 plus 4. That's 9 fifths. Now we can subtract 27 fifths minus 9 fifths and get 18 fifths. And we learned in video 7.6 how to simplify fractions by renaming them. 
we have 18 fifths and can look at this fraction greater than 1 as a little division problem. We do 18 divided by 5. And the quotient is 3, that's our whole number. The remainder is a 3, that's our numerator. And the divisor is a 5, that's our denominator. We get 3 and 3 fifths. If that was very confusing to you, check the description to watch video 7.6. When working with greater numbers, it's quicker to only rename the minuen. We have 37 and 4 sixteenths minus 14 and 9 sixteenths. These numbers are so large, it's just quicker to write the 37 as a 36 plus 16 sixteenths. We're using 16 because that's the denominator. Then adding the 4 sixteenths to get a 36 and 20 sixteenths. And then we just subtract the 14 and 9 sixteenths we get 22 and 11 sixteenths. If we tried renaming both, we would have to multiply 37 times 16 and add 4 to get a 596 over 16, then multiply a 14 times 16 plus 9 to get a 233 over 16. Oh, these numbers are too large. It's much quicker when we're working with greater numbers to just rename the minuen. Okay? It'll be much faster for you. Our next lesson, 7.9, we're going to talk about the properties of addition with fractions with like denominators. We're going to talk about the associative and commutative properties. I'm really proud of you for watching math videos. Have a really great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.